Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a curry recipe. This is very simple curry recipe yet tasty too. If you are a brinjal lover, I'm telling you, you love this curry. And this goes excellent with rice, roti and even pulka. This will be an excellent combination. So let's start how to make this simple chana dal and brinjal curry. We are going to use the slender brinjal to make this curry. And here is a slender brinjal and this I'm going to cut it into nice roundels because my chana dal is nice and round. So I'm going to cut the slender brinjal also into nice rounds. But don't cut it into too thin otherwise this will melt very fast. So we want the brinjal to be seen so cut it into slightly big pieces. So first what you are going to do is we don't want to cut the brinjal first. First we are going to cook the dal. Here I have the chana dal. So what I did is I have soaked the chana dal and if you want you can boil the chana dal and you can use it also. So today I am using the soaked chana dal and I am going to cook the soaked chana dal first in the pan for around uh, you know 60% till our chana dal is slightly cooked and then I am going to cut the brinjal and add it to this. Here I am going to add some oil. Once the oil is hot we are going to add the onions, just roughly chop the onions, add some salt, very little, not too much. We don't want the onions to be colored or even transparent also because anyway this will get cooked along with the dal. Add ginger garlic paste and very little of turmeric and also some curry leaves. Just mix this once and now we are going to add the soaked chana dal. You can soak the chana dal for just one hour and add this. As I said you can boil the chana dal and use it also. I am going to add some water, little bit extra water because we want our dal to be cooked and cover this with a lid. We are going to cook this for around 5 to 6 minutes till you see the dal is slightly cooked and then we are going to add the brinjal to this. So friends our chana dal it took just 8 minutes you can see if you just check this dal it still needs to you know cook further but this is perfect. Now we are going to add the brinjal and we are going to cook the brinjal along with this dal. As I said I am going to cut them into slightly bigger roundels and the moment you cut it you can just add it in your uh, dal directly. I already washed it. Now I am going to add this into the dal. So I added couple of them. You can use around uh, 250 grams of brinjal or if you want you can cut down little bit of brinjal. I love to add you know equal quantities so I added equal quantities of brinjal and the chana dal. Now we are going to add the spices, lot of chili powder. It should be slightly spicy then only it will taste excellent and some coriander powder and also some cumin powder. I added initially salt but very less. Now I am going to add some more salt and mix this. Now I am going to cover this and reduce the flame and I am going to cook this for another 4 minutes. The brinjal will also get cooked and even the dal also will get cooked and in the last we are going to garnish with some coriander and some garam masala and switch off the flame. So after 3 to 4 minutes of slow cooking, this slender brinjal won't take much time and we are going to just check the brinjal. You can see this is perfectly cooked nice and soft. If you overcook this, this will get mashed. So we don't want this to be mashed. Last, some garam masala, very little and the coriander, mix it. Let's taste it once. We love masala, masala dal. Perfect, not too spicy, perfect of masala and the dal is also cooked perfectly. Now I'm going to switch off the flame and this is all ready to serve. Let's taste this once more. The brinjal, I love brinjal. You can see how nice and soft. So friends here is the brinjal, you can see how nice it is soft. Mm. This is super and tasty. If you like brinjal then you will love this dish. I hope you enjoyed this simple curry recipe. If you like it, make it, share it and also feed your family fresh food. See you in another session with some more recipes.